Now that we've made it through the entire Old Testament, suffered through the Gospels, and put the book of Acts behind us, we find ourselves in the home stretch, the last section of the Bible before Revelations, which is apparently so fucked up that it couldn't share a section with any of the other books. So as we enter into the final category of biblical books, we're obliged to ask ourselves, What, what the, the fuck, fuck is an epistle? It's a letter. Just, just... Latin for letter, but I guess having a section called letters didn't seem weighty enough, so they continue to use this archaic term, even though it sounds almost exactly like apostle, thus guaranteeing confusion and stupid jokes. Now, unlike modern-day letters, of course, epistles existed, because nobody in the modern day writes letters except my mom. But also, unlike modern-day letters back when letters were modern-day, epistles were often intended for large public addresses and were expected to exist as literary works after fulfilling whatever communicative function they served. Thus, a number of the epistles in the New Testament are really fucking long compared to normal letters. There are a total of 21 letters in the New Testament, which account for slightly under half of the book's total content. These are generally divided into two categories categories. The first 13 are what is known as the Pauline epistles, which were definitely not all written by Paul, despite divine dictate to the contrary. The remaining eight are called the general epistles, which is both more polite and less burdensome than calling them the, for a Jew, Paul wasn't particularly prolific, so he had to add some more shit here so this book didn't just seem like an appendix when we coupled it with the Hebrew Bible epistles. Modern biblical scholars now believe that Paul himself was only responsible for eight of the letters. The remainders of the Pauline epistles are considered pseudopigraphic, which means blatant forgeries, but in a way that doesn't freak out all the Christians when you use it talking about the Bible. The undisputed Pauline epistles are the oldest surviving Christian writings, likely dictated around 60 CE, and show a religion that is already mired in irreconcilable theological minutia that would continue to plague the church for at least 1,955 years and counting. The earliest work, 1 Thessalonians, was written at least two decades after the alleged death of Christ, leaving many wondering why the hell nobody would have written about the resurrection at the time it occurred, and why the early church would have, like, obsessively protect anything that anybody did right if they were going to bother saving Paul's letters for fucking millennia, but I digress. In short, the epistles are rambling attempts to plug the massive holes in the Christian concept of salvation that fail miserably. Christians consistently admit as much by continuing to write apologetics despite the Bible already existing.